Here we are again in the Amex Stadium. Look, the last time we went against Crystal Palace, it was a frustrating 1-1 in the end. Really frustrating game. Here we go against them again, this time at the Amex Stadium. The last time we were here in the Amex Stadium, we destroyed West Ham 4-0. And do you know what? In the Leeds game that we had just last Saturday, I was very frustrated in the end of it, not getting that three points. And so was Deserby, and I think so was everyone as Brighton fans. Today, I'm taking no prisoners. We are going to get the three points today, and we're also going to get three goals. My score predictions today is 3-0 to the Albion. I don't care really how we do it, what the score prediction is. I mean, I'm giving you one, but honestly, if we win by 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, I don't care. We need to win this game today. We need to get the three points against our rivals, Crystal Palace. Here are some clips of the last time we went up against Crystal Palace. Yo, there are some clips from Selhurst Park. Let's see what action we're going to see here today. Let's go and see what some of the fans think of today's game up against the Eagles. Fanatics, it's your boy Luke Leeds Brighton, and we're back again today. Back in the town, the mouse, here we come with facts, and the dog get loud. Do we get it right back? So we kidding it right now. Hello Brian Fanatics, welcome back to another Match Day vlog and we're here for the first interview today. Harry, how you doing? Stat man, Harry. For the stat today, what is it? Oh, my stat today is that um, we um, well, we haven't beaten Palace in the last seven attempts in the, in the big derby and um, I think it's been won all of the times that we faced them. And yeah. um, also, in the last three games, this is the best time to get Palace. They've had zero shots on target. So this is if we're going to beat them, now is the time to do it. Yeah, I was going to say, that's going to stop right now. Today, we're winning. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Today, we beat the Eagles, I'm telling you. What is your score prediction for today then, Harry? I'm going for a one all. I think every time that we face Palace, it seems to be a feisty encounter and we just seem to cancel each other out. And I think for goal scorers, I'm going to go for, for Brighton, I'm going to go for McAllister. And then for uh, Palace, I'm going to go for Zaha. I think he always gets that Derby Day goal. Yeah, absolutely does. I do believe Zaha is back after not being there at Selhurst Park when we went up against him. We couldn't get the win there, but hopefully we do when Zaha is there to see it in the flesh. Yeah. Harry, appreciate you coming on, man. Thank All right, we're here with the boys once again. We're here with Josh, Dylan, and of course, John. You guys have been on here for quite quite a long time now. This is a big one though, isn't it? Palace, we got them one all last time at Selhurst. We do have Zaha, but we don't have Gieta up against us today. What's happening, Josh? You start us off. Predictions, goal scorers, Bosch. Well, I think we should have won away mm -hmm. at Selhurst Park. Obviously, Sanchez had that slip. But I think today we'll win 2-0. I think Matoma will get a goal and then I think Welbeck will score later on in the match because he's starting today. Fantastic, we love it. John, what do you think, mate? I know it's a bit boring, but I think it's going to be a 2-1 win. But okay. I think Zaha will... Well, I think Palace will be leading the whole game and then we'll just get two goals right at the end, like Matoma and Welbeck or something like that. Yeah, class. Look, if, I don't care how we win today, as long as we get the three points against the Eagles. Dylan, what are you thinking, mate? 2-1. One. Two one. Dunk with a header yeah. in the 56th minute. <laughs> and then Matoma... In the 22nd minute, okay, yeah. and then what two ones? So then a lease with a free kick, oh, mate. Class, class, we love it, we love it, boys. Thanks for coming on, Bosch. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Okay, Amy, we're back on the channel again for the big Palace match. Now, look, I heard that the goalkeeper of Crystal Palace, Gieta, is not going to be starting today. Is that a good feeling? Is that a good thing that he's not? Hopefully, mm. um, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Would it be? <sighs> Easier, do you think, to get more goals in the back of the net considering they don't have their, their man in goal? It depends because, like, we don't normally, we normally only draw against yeah. Palace, so. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now, Zaha, I believe he's back. What is your score predictions for today's match? 
3 1. 3 1. Um, Goal scorers? Solly March Brace yeah. and Well Weck. Okay, I like that. Amy, thank you for coming on for your score prediction. Cool. Action has started here already, here at the Amex Stadium. The flares are going on, the Palace fans are here. And they have come in crowds. The police vans are escorting and stopping the Palace fans from getting through to Brighton. And as you can see, all the way up there, that's where the ramp they're going to be going up. And they're going to be all around there, so... Yeah. Crazy. Already starting. Because of Boxing Day. We're all here because the Palace supporters are walking up here, this ramp, and they're stopping them from coming up here. And this is where the Brighton fans are giving them lit as they walk past. Okay, we're here with our Ecuadorian man, Ronald. Today, you're on again. This is a big match. What does it mean to you as this derby? How big is it? It's a special game. This one for me is the big derby in, in England, you know. Yeah. So I'm thinking Brighton gonna win 3-1. Yeah, 3-1. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna score Moises Caicedo, Solimar, and Jeremy Sarmiento in the last minute. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Adam Lalana just added on a year to his contract. How good is that? Lalana is a good player. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna become a legend here in Brighton, yeah. Yeah. but personally is a big player i'm very happy for the brighton club and the brighton fans as well you know yeah definitely for ronald appreciate you coming on my friend come on brighton come on brighton All right jacob you're in again it's been a while um how are you feeling man and is this your first game back for since we had you on yes it's yeah. been a very very long time coming up i've just been very busy with work and obviously i've had a bad thing with my knee like yeah, yeah, i've told yeah. you knee injury, so, yeah. yeah so yeah i'm back now so uh, i just want to start off what what's your thoughts on adam lalana getting the extra you know year contracts onto him to 2024 how important is adam lalana to brighton how important is he and what is he a big role model to the club what are your thoughts on him He's going to be a big essential to Brighton as he's going to probably be, I reckon he'll be behind the back staff yeah. when he retires and obviously he's going to be a big, big thing for Brighton. Obviously he helps the club, he helps him improve, like what Deserby said, that he wants him to stay yeah. and that's why he extended his, uh, mm. his year contract. Yeah, absolutely. And fantastic uh, game today here against the Eagles. Obviously we had a draw against them one on which we probably should have got three points out of. I'll be getting three points today. What is your score predictions? 2-0 uh, Brighton. Okay, goal scorers for that. Uh, Kuru Matoma and Alexis McAllister. Absolutely fantastic. Um, there's been a lot of talks of Kuru Matoma adding on to his contract. Do you think it will happen? It all depends on the summer uh, transfer because obviously we've got Man City, we've got Arsenal, we've got Chelsea and it's all it's all a bit interesting on what goes on and it all depends on how much um, they really bid for him, really. Absolutely. Jacob, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. I love you. Oh, what? Oh, we, oh, we beat the Eagles. Oh, we beat the Eagles. Oh, we Three You heard it here first. Oh, Three now. Oh, How you doing, mate? Celebration shit. Two goals. Let's run away again. Oh, we will fight forever more because of Boxing Day.
Championship game. Skimming that left post there. Oh, Jason still wouldn't have got it, I don't think. Interesting to see that we have Danny Welbeck up front. We have no Evan Ferguson up there. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, lineup wise, it's interesting. Obviously, we have Colwell starting as well, which is an interesting one. And no Webster. So it's Dunk and Colwell out back. And Welbeck up front, which is two different changes that we had in the last couple of matches. The atmosphere is building here already, as you can hear behind me. And it is going to be an interesting one. And uh, we're two minutes in. Let's see what else we can see through this first half. Go on, Nana. Go on, Purvis. Oh, Matoma. Matoma shoots. Well done, Matoma. Well done. Go on, Matoma. Rocky first 10 minutes of the game, but when it gone past that 10 minutes, it got different. We seemed real hungry for the ball and we got and made opportunities going forward. And yeah, Solly March there scoring an absolute banger. And look, we're on it now. We're absolutely on it. We're hungry for the ball. Rocky first 10 minutes, but it all changed. And as it comes through again, we're going to see Brighton attack again here. Come on. Gross crosses it. Oh, and it's well bit there, nearly getting it. Yeah, sorry. Amazing. So we're here with Nike. What's your channel name, Nike? Uh, Nike Football. N A G I F O O T B A L L. That's fantastic. Do you think Brighton are going to win today? We're one nil up at half time. Do you yes. think we're going to keep winning? Yeah. Really. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Do you do match day vlogs? So you vlog the match? Yeah. You do that. Brilliant. Yeah. Nike. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Half time. Absolutely crazy first half. We got the goal though, and that's so important. But look, Brighton, we do it a lot. We bottle the lead, and like we did at Leeds, one nil up, two one up. I hope that they do not equalise, and we come away with the three points. It's massive today. Eagles are not winning. We're getting these three points, guys. I'll see you back when the second half has started. Bosh. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Come on. Everything's gone off. Everything's gone off. Oh, we've got some last back. Oh, now we need the screens back. 
No, we need to. Hey! No, we're not gonna have him. Everyone's coming in. Everyone's also putting their lights on as well. Yo, look at the amount of lights. Look at the amount of lights around the ground. This is awesome. Technical problems. Big up, big up, big up, big up. They love it, they love it. Look at Amex right now, this is crazy. Look at the lights. We're creating our own light show, Palace. Leave us alone. Creating our own light show. Leave us alone. We create our own entertainment here at the Amex. This is nuts! Well, they're waiting to sort the screens out. Madness! To the Albion 1 0! 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 If you ain't Palace, stand up! 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 Jesus, big banger there, just went off, huge banger, in the away area, doesn't matter though, we're going for an attack, corner, there it was, big banger, yeah, I, was, I was yet to hear one of them to be fair, CISO, the CISO, oh my goodness, that would have been amazing, come on Ray! Unbelievable game, absolutely unbelievable. Look, we made it a bit hard for ourselves though, because one goal throughout the whole of it to keep that one nil is it's hard to do. It just is hard to do, but we did it. My man of the match has got to be Jason Steele, he's absolutely fantastic. He's got to be starting every single game for me. Unbelievable. Shout Veltman though, did get the man of the match from the sponsors of today. He was brilliant. Solly March was brilliant, getting that goal, crucial stuff, three points. I said at the start of the video, I don't care what the score is, as long as we get the three points today, and he's loving it behind as well. We absolutely love it. The atmosphere today was rocking, as it normally does on this rival day. Everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are a Palace fan, big up to you Palace fans as well, all right? Big up to you. <laughs> and um, look, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, like this video if you have enjoyed. We're looking for 2,000 likes on this video. He loves it as well. Let's get him in, let's get him in. He loves it. They all love it. They all love it. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> he loves it as well. Absolutely brilliant. Look. Come on, yeah. Luke. Oh, it's Andrew. Yeah. Yes. How are you doing? Come on, mate. I'm doing oh. amazing. Hello, Grace. Hello. You good? How was the game today? Uh, Atmosphere. I'm all of it. Excited. Atmosphere. Fantastic. Zero being the worst. Ten being the best. How's it been today? Give it a ten. 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 Eagles.